okay. I got the timer going and commence the right. Let's see what the monster of the week is today. Having landed at the Hulk of Ors, you and your fellow exiles now anticipate the hour that the rites are to commence again. What do you think, Tizzo? Do I, don't I look just like Mr. Hedwin? Cool hoo. Tizzo's worried about Hedwin still feeling unwell. Wait, I think... what's that? A serpentine creature emerges from the water, followed by several others of its kind. You recognize it as a worm of the sea dominion. A apparently person-sized worm. Alright. What they are all doing here, you see plainly by their ritual raiments. The nearest one somehow loosens its mask. Somehow. Oh my god. <laughs> good sirs and good ladies! <laughs> so it is you that heed the summons to glorious competition against this knight and his brigade. <laughs> well then! Oh my god, that's actually his voice. <laughs> that's actually his voice though. Well then, let us do battle with now without delay. More than our freedom is at stake here, but our very honor. And this knight fully intends to reclaim his. Oh, and lest this knight forget. He is called Sir Gilman. He salutes you all on behalf of the Pyre Hearts. Until the contest. A triumvirate of warm knights who perceive the rights as great battles to be won. He is a once proud knight of the Sea Dominion on a self-made quest to regain his honor. <coughs> Pardon me. He splashes out of view just as the stars above begin to shimmer with strange light. Well, this is a nice change of pace. The dude say it gives us business from this planet. Yeah, fuck you, Rando. God, I hate that narrator. I hope one day I get to kick the star sphere into his face. <laughs> Oh, shut the fuck up. Even the vastness of the sea was not enough to thwart your coming here. Unto the Hulk of Ores. You would be wise not to underestimate your adversaries here, despite their pitiable look. Oh, what the fuck the ever. Do you want to come at me, or what? To the pyre oh man, I've just realized what that is. In the background. Ugh. That makes you their mortal enemy. Sure, whatever. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Huh. Well, okay, now I'm a little bit more intimidated. But still, fuck the narrator guy. Your fellow exiles are gathered on the rotting deck of the Hulk of Ors as your adversaries clamber into view. Rookie pulls up to them. Say, what are you worms even doing here? Can't you just, you know, swim back to the Commonwealth or the Sea Dominion or whatever it is you're from? Ah, an excellent point! It seems that these adversaries and the rights are clever, wouldn't you say, sire? J -j Just get rid of them already, Gilman! As your commanding officer that night, hereby commands it! Hark! This knight wishes to introduce his noble commander. No one knight in history has withstood as many frontline battles. Doff your helm, sire, as is our custom. May our adversaries tremble at the sight of you. Sir Gilman attends to his commander's mask despite his protests. What? Wait! Ah! You give this knight his mask! Oh, he's tiny. Well, that's adorable. This knight hereby presents to you the, Sir, the great Sir Deluge. Sir Delusional, maybe? Oh, shit. A petty warm knight of the Sea Dominion who somehow survived countless battles. Alright. A noble vis visage, is it not? So Deluge trembles and squirms. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Uh, so, yes, you can swim or no? Ha! Oh, of course we knights can swim! All knights of the Sea Dominion can! But we are exiles in this land, the same as ye. We can swim, tis true. But it is summarily impossible to swim back up the river down which we were flushed end up here. Nay, there is but one way to return! Silence, Key Gilman! N nobody cares! B back to your post! <laughs> Sir Gilman hesitates but does as he is told. This knight is, knows who you are, Nightwings, and he is not afraid of you. He somehow climbs back into his mask and coils up to his full height. Now, one god! 
The exiles of the Worm Triumvirate take their positions as you focus on the Book of Rites. Oh, they got really tiny auras, which means they're probably really damn fast. Rita, Hedwin's illness means he cannot help us here. He should be counting on us. Who shall conduct this right? Uh, you? Nope, I've already made up my mind, man. You're already too far ahead as it is. This is gonna be interesting. Griha! Tizo does not seem intimidated in the slightest by Sir Gilman and Sir Deluge. That definitely moved the mic. Gilman! Status report! What's the enemy's position? They now stand ready to confront us, Saya. A very brave triumvirate they seem to this knight's eye. B -b brave Air sucking monsters, one and all! Pyre hearts, be ready! Let's do this, you chumps. I am immediately going to regret saying that, aren't I? Commence. Boom! Gotcha! How the heck did I do that? What the fuck? Oh, I can jump over those things. Ah, oh, shit. Introducing mechanics without telling me them. No you don't, motherfucker. Gotcha! This is gonna be some intense, really speedy shit. Ah, darn it! Oh man, whatever this- whatever happens here is going to be fast. Gilman! Your film is sloppy! Fight them as though your miserable life is on the line! Your words do wound me, sire. This knight gives the right his very, very best. Though perhaps we have, do have much to learn from such a brave triumvirate as the one whom we now face. Whose side are you on? Get out there and vanquish them at once. Our adversaries stand divided. Let us take advantage of the opening. There seems to be dissension in your adversaries' ranks. Tis little wonder these fool worm knights are no longer fit to serve the spectacularly done. Interesting. So we got a free score there? That's weird. Gotcha! One more hit and we win. Your victory is at hand. Alas for Gilman. Ah! Close. No! Darn it! Quite the turn of events. Yeah! There we go. That was a little bit intense. The fastest map and the fastest people on the map. So that was interesting. Oh boy. Damn straight. Hmm. I expected more from the Worm Knights of the Sea Dominion. The sea was making me a little queasy, honestly. But we still won! We won! Scree! Yeah! Very pleased to have prevailed against the Worm Knights of the Pyre Hearts. This knight commends you, noble knight wings. Gloriously fought indeed, and this knight shall wistfully remember this defeat until the end of his days. Silence, Gilman! This is all your fault! And now, cavorting with our enemies? How dare you! This knight was but attempting honorary compliments, sire. It is not in accordance with the rights to praise one's... Is it not in accordance with the rights to praise one's adversary on a worthy outcome? W worthy This knight will show you worthy, you miserable little minnow! You are a failure, Gilman! Get now from this knight's sight! What stirs now in the hearts of all these exiles? 
Focus. Training. Prowess. The path towards survival in the blood border. Interesting. These rites make similar demands of us. Yeah, mastery time! Oh, good lord! One hit from the- oh. Oh no, this isn't extra attack, this is just we have greater health while she's on my team. Eh, I'll do that. All right. Until the stars align. Indeed. After prevailing over the pyre hearts with Aplom, Aplom, you at last return to your wagon with companions. There is little discussion of the pyre hearts, who seem to have already swam off toward whatever the next stars direct them. Instead, your fellow exile's attention towards York turns towards your companion, who was absent for the right. How is Hedwin? Uh. The little minstrel makes no sound. Makes a sound, but no words form as yet. Something's troubling him. He. Yeah. I urged him to remain bedridden. Yeah. And? Um. And he. He simply would not listen. I am very sorry, but... Wait, what?! Everyone stares at the lone minstrel in stunned silence. The lone minstrel breathes a heavy sigh. But then... Hey, what's with the long faces, everyone? Minstrel! I should wring that neck of yours! As I was attempting to explain, Hedwin is already up and about. Despite my having strongly recommended for the rest, those that are unaccustomed to sea voyage and take ill, they are very likely to experience further sy symptoms if they do not remain bedridden or at least sedentary. Hedrin is running a considerable risk of having to spend another night in great discomfort. What are you, a doctor? Nay, although I traveled once with one extensively. Look, I appreciate your constant and concern, Tariq. Tariq? I know his name now. Hehehe. <laughs> I probably already did, actually. Uh, but I'm pretty well accustomed to discomfort here, and I had to see how things t turned out tonight. Hadn't had to stay out of a right like that before. So you are back among the living, then, Hedwin. I was just seasick. Nevertheless, your full requiry recovers. <laughs> oh, oh man, I used to be really good at reading, I swear. Nevertheless, your full recovery requires rest. I think we've got all use some rest after tonight. Anyway, thank you everyone for your concern, and I'm sorry that I worried about you or caused you further burden. He turns to you. My friend, what do you say we figure out where to go next? I'm beginning to miss being on solid ground. You follow him outside where the night sky awaits. Hey, I wanted to thank you for conducting the right back there without, without me being there. I could rest easy knowing you and the others would get through it. Anyway, I'll leave you to your reading. Can't begin to imagine where we'll be off to next. We're well past anywhere in the downside I've ever been. Even Jody hasn't gone this far. He bids you a good evening as you turn your attention to the sky. Oh, we're over here now. <laughs> oh, the mouse. Where are we even going next? Holy crap, can we go even we can go even more nor north. <laughs> All right, we're going even more nor north apparently. The silver star burns bright over the fissured lands of Black Basin. It's been almost 15 minutes, jeez. <laughs> that rock formation's got some sass behind it. 
Still further north, then. Not simply north. This shall prove difficult. What's the problem? Our destination is beyond the Deathless Tempest. A tempest raging in the Sea of Solace, seemingly for all eternity. Oh, good. That's, that's good. The storm that arose after the death of the Sea Titan, unfathom, unfathomed Plurniz, never has entirely subsided. A vessel such as ours has little hope of traversing it intact. Can we go around it? Given our confrontation with the Pyrehearts, our chances back in warm-held waters would be even worse. Come on, people, it'll be just another day in the downside. Go get yourself some sleep while we still can, but bet you'll feel better about it in the morning. Your optimism is infectious. Isn't it? You all concur the rest is in order, for the sea journey has been taxing to everyone. Come daybreak, you shall have to find a way to sail past the Deathless Tempest. Oh boy! Well, after 16 minutes of faffing about, <laughs> that was really interesting. I'm going to have to be very careful of this map from here on out. Because that, that one level with the walls that you automatically sprint over without having to use energy, that makes for a really quick and dangerous match. So, yeah. Bye!